But first on Fox, we're remembering two college softball players killed last year. Good evening, everyone. I'm Shell Ramin. Thanks for being with us here tonight. The union community is honoring the memory of two softball players who were tragically killed one year ago by a suspected drunk driver. Today, the Lady Bantam softball team took to the field on the newly renamed Revel Stokes Field for the very first time. And Fox Carolina's Zach Perletsky is at the Coop in Union with more on today's scoreboard dedication. On February 7, 2020, a group of four women on the Lady Bantam softball team were driving in Spartanburg County when troopers say they were crashed into by a drunk driver. Two of those women, Grace Revels and Mia Stokes, were killed in the crash and the other two seriously hurt. Grace and Mia will now forever be watching over the Lady Bantams when they play at the field now named in their memory. The USC Union softball team taking the field for the first time on Saturday on what is now known as Revels Stokes Field. It means a lot. I mean, this community has supported us 100%. Um, they were, the girls loved going to school here, um, and just the support that they've gotten from everybody here has been great. In February 2020, a car crash took the lives of two Lady Bantam softball players, Grace Revels and Mia Stokes. The driver of the other car was arrested after troopers say he was driving under the influence that night. Two other players were also seriously injured in the crash, including Mia's twin sister, Mallory. This started when they were little, and the goal was to play in the collegiate league, and they made it. They were able to play one weekend together in Florida, and, and that was it. But, but she loved it, and just to have this in her memory, it's, it's huge. It means a lot to, to her family. Grace's number one and Mia's number 22 were already retired by the university. Now their names and memory will watch over the Lady Bantam softball team for years to come. This brings healing to this community. This community was completely rocked by this situation. And this brings a little bit of healing. I mean, every time that these players for years and years to come step out on this field, they're gonna see those names up there. And not only is it gonna remind them of Grace and of Mia, but it's also going to remind them of their legacy. The Lady Bantams did drop both games of a doubleheader to Caldwell Community College on Saturday. Now the man charged in the deaths of both Grace and Mia is currently sitting in the Spartanburg County Detention Center awaiting trial. For now, reporting in Union, Zach Perlutsky, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.